guys welcome back to another video hopefully you can see my face because I'm using my sister phone to the face cam and it is horrible I use an iPhone 5 and this is a 5s and this is worse than my iPhone 5 but hopefully my face is just not too big and distracting my face is something too big and distracting so today we are going to take the tour of the little uh, what do you call this thing the new DIY not a DIY hole more of like just a home. <laughs> so this is the uh, the mezzanine house. I think that's what it's called. It's called. So in the quest, in the quest of all my stuff, you actually go through this house. There are a bit difference from the quest and the official version, and there's some difference of what I did also. I mean, I didn't do a lot of difference, but yeah. So this is the house. It's kind. Of, it's three floors. What I really wish the game actually did was actually it used kind of those nicer fancy windows but I'm, I'm okay with this, I mean, they need to update this window, windows, this, windows are really nice but they're just too old. So we're going to go to the ground floor, so this is the ground floor, obviously, um, I, I wonder why is this light on? Why are these lights on? I just realized that. There's nobody downstairs here. It turns out there's somebody downstairs here, but there's literally, I'm telling you, there's literally no one downstairs here. There's no cat also, that's one note. I don't know, but there's no one downstairs here. I'm not sure who is down here, but yeah, that, that, that is room haunted. So this is the main foyer, the main foyer is kind of empty, you have a phone, which is how some houses don't come with phones, so that's a nice touch. I wish like the Sims 3 Play Sims can actually just interact using your very own phone, like if you realize if you just let them to sit, they will actually take, take out their phones and just chat or something, but they don't do that. So this is the main foyer, and then you go into this little hallway kind of a small hallway and then if you take which way is just left you will go into the main living room and it's kind of simple actually I really not 100% liking it it's very simple I wish they did more effort but yeah so then going straight ahead you go to the kitchen and then you can go to the right or you can go through the kitchen and go out of the kitchen to the dining room and the dining room has an interesting feature which I will show you later on. Um, in the kitchen you also have the bathroom right over here and it's quite small. Outside, by the way, note I did say I changed a bit and yes I did. The planters is something that I placed. I placed personally, it's a nice touch obviously. You have the bar from the uh, Romantic Island uh, community event. It was it. W we got all of those. I got all of those items. Don't worry. The items are really easy to get. And then you have this nice chairs and tables. I I don't think I really like this chair in personal. This is a very unfunctional area. You can't access these chairs for my note. Yeah, this, you just can't access those chairs and. Again, again, as as I said, that the game of lover is also something I place because I just wanted the water to be clean. So now, oh yeah, by the way, I didn't purchase the one like it previously. It was on the store. No, I didn't purchase that. Uh, it was on the like the build and buy store, the home store, for a limited time. So I was like, okay, maybe I'll take the initiative to buy some of it. I managed to buy twenty or around, around twenty of it including some nice uh, awning kind of uh, sun chairs or whatever it's called I forgot what it's called I, we never find sun chairs in Malaysia just one note so now we're gonna walk up the stairs and this is where the nice touches start to come up so you walk up the stairs and you will see there's a mezzanine and this is why it's called the mezzanine house it's nice there is a balcony right in front here you can go up there there's a nice foyer, foyer for the stair, stairwell, whatever it's called. 
Um, then there's two doors, one leading to the office and then leads to the balcony. One of my sisters is doing her life for legacy, which is uh, right season aesthetics. Then you go this way, you go into. I wouldn't call this the. I'm not sure if I could call this the master bedroom or the guest bed for bedroom because they're kind of the same, not a lot of difference. And then if you go here, you get a nice toilet. Oh, that toilet! I really like that toilet. It's just that it's so pricey. If you know, my towel's going in bankruptcy, <laughs> so I need to get my way back up. Hopefully. So then going upstairs, you'll see she's waiting for a chat. I really like this new interaction. It's really nice, but one thing I'm very upset since replay, you need the sim to actually like increase their relationship with the other sim. Like I thought it will increase their friendship relationship, but it never it just increased their social uh, needs. It didn't increase their relationship, so it kind of disappointed me. But yeah. So upstairs here you have this little another mezzanine looking down. Um, yeah. And then oh here you have a hot tub. Who doesn't want a hot tub? Obviously not me. I would like a hot tub. And then you have bedroom here. Oh that, it's been very long since I used this bed in personal personally. And it looks very, very weird. <laughs> update a bit or oh, is it just me I'm not sure it's it's so weird and then you have a toilet here that mirror is obviously bugged there's a lot of bugs with the shining objects but the shining objects are sometimes so pretty so then you have a balcony a hot tub and that's it so do I not place a weather machine in here oh my god mezzanine is just the worst so another one of the problem was that you know those those double height kind of uh, chimneys that you got from the snow chalet, you can't use those chimney unless you have the snow chalet kind of mezzanine. So the mezzanine in this this particular mezzanine is very unfunctional, very useless. It's kind of nice, but then you go into nighttime. So let's make it night. So now you see everything's night. At least now the room doesn't sound possessed because yeah, there's a sim right now inside the room. So if you just turn on the light down here, so we turn on the lights down here and then we go one level up. What is this? This is I'm not sure if this is a bug or it's just not done properly. It is so bad. And every time I look at this, every time I come to this house at night, I'm like, oh crap, turn on all the lights. It's so bad, and it also affects the third floor. Why? Okay, then maybe we we turn off this level of light, and then we turn on this one. Then the downstairs will not receive the light. It is just so frustrating, and very, very horrible in a way, because it's kind of annoying. Like... You expected the entire room to fill up with light, but no, you only get that specific room to fill up with light. So practically, this ground floor room is just useless. Just the resident is just practically useless. It did give off kind of a nice decoration kind of design, but it's just practically useless. Same goes to the if you turn on the upstairs light, the downstairs will also not receive the light. So the mezzanine is useless. I'm just pointing that out. The mezzanine is just useless. So anyway guys, that is if you want to glance at night time, this is how it looks at night. So yeah guys, that's that's the mezzanine house. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's not a long video and apologies again, this video is a bit late. Sorry. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, please comment and subscribe and I will see you next time bye